Hello and welcome to my channel, Hayes Gaming and Tech, and today I'm going to be uh, showing you how to create a arcade joystick. Now, this uh, particular arcade joystick is uh, going to be without the button, so it's just going to be the joystick uh, by itself, and it is going to be a Sanwat joystick. Now, I created this video in stages, so... Um, here is the actual finished product it has a green uh, ball on top um, and it, as you can see in the video itself here it looks uh, translucent and transparent which is not the case now um, with that said the reason I created this is because I'm handicapped in my left hand and uh, I needed a way to navigate um, characters in video games on, on PC and so forth etc I could just basically tie strap it here to my uh, top of my uh, chair here and uh, the way I go it works very well I could use my right hand for my mouse and um, it works extremely well um, there are some limitations to it but um, it's better than not being able to play the game altogether now with that said let's go ahead transition over okay uh, now when creating a custom box to uh, put an arcade stick in um, like you see uh, like you see here sorry I've got uh, limited uh, room here but um, like you see here, uh, the first thing you'll need to do is take this plate off. Now, for video's sake, I have loosened these four screws. And uh, for those who um, have this arcade stick or one similar uh, in an arcade box already and want to create their custom box, um, what you'll need to do after taking uh, this unit out is you'll need to... Um, uh, hold this screw with a flathead screwdriver while twisting uh, this top, this ball top off right here. Now, um, since this unit has never been in a uh, arcade box, uh, the ball is already loose. Now, once uh, we remove it, we'll just go ahead and set that to the side. And I would like to note, fellas, uh, when dealing with any kind of electronical device, you will need to be grounded to um, a anti-static mat or anti-static bracelet. Now, for the purposes of this video, I am uh, standing on a anti-static mat. <laughs> Now, uh, once you've got it lined up as good as you can get it here, what you're going to need to do is mark the holes where you're going to drill. And uh, to do this, you're going to need a Sharpie, a black Sharpie. <laughs> Okay, fellas, now the next step in this process is to drill the four uh, holes. Now, the middle hole for the joystick, for the shaft to come up through, that's going to be a 24 millimeter hole, fellas, just to let you know. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start here by applying a drop of machine oil. in each section okay do this one again
going to take the three and one oil and lubricate the whole saw and uh, we're going to go ahead and lubricate the area as well And just to sum up what we have done previously to this plate here, um, we used a 3 sixteenths drill bit to uh, create the countersink hole. And uh, we used a 1 sixteenth drill bit pilot hole to um, uh, for um, the screw head to go, uh, for the screw to go in. Now uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a 3 30 seconds bit and finish the hole out. Okay fellas, what we're going to do now is we're going to create the hole for the USB cable. And as y'all can see, this USB cable is basically it's square right here this will go up inside the frame here and this part uh, and this part right here is going to stick outside the frame this is going inside this part sticking out so it's got to go into this groove here now <laughs> As you can see, it is rough, but um, once uh, 
I get it filed out. But uh, as you can see, once I get it filed um, out to a measurement, it'll fit in there just nicely. Okay, I've actually filed out that hole um, that I had cut. And uh, I did test fit the USB uh, cable, and it fits very snugly and uh, fits very adequately. Um, I know y'all can see this little ridge here. Um, you cannot see that. Um, when uh, the USB cable is actually in place. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, which, which I didn't do when um, doing the uh, plate or the lid uh, for this unit, is that uh, I'm just going to quickly demonstrate um, what you need to do for this when sanding to, pre uh, to prep it for paint. <laughs> the reason we uh, done these holes right here is because these are going to mimic uh, the standoffs that you would find um, say in a computer uh, chassis etc now that they're actually lined up just press them and press the board down onto the screws in place and um, we're going to go ahead and proceed to take a precision uh, screwdriver and we're just going to go ahead and tighten the screws down and what this will actually do is it will actually cause the uh, circuit board to not move okay now that I've got the screws tight um, and the circuit board in place as you can see if I try to pull up on it it's not moving. Now, if I loosen the screws, however, the, it gives enough um, leeway on the circuit board to, to pop up. Now, originally, I wanted to take the, um, the M2 nuts that I've got uh, right here, and I wanted to put on top of the uh, screw head like this um, but uh, the only I can do it right here but unfortunately I cannot do it on the other side of the board uh, over here because unfortunately there's not enough space between the screw head as you can see and this uh, white housing right here and that goes <laughs>
thank you guys for watching uh, my video for the creation of this Sandwa joystick. Uh, if you like the video, please comment, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If not, hit the dislike button. And as always, guys, leave a comment, whether positive or negative, um, explaining uh, your position on why the video was positive and negative. So that way the feedback um, uh, can be uh, used in a positive light. Um, as always, guys, uh, God bless, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Yeah.